Good morning, Abby. Good morning, Rexy. Good morning, Mimi. Okay, yeah. Oh, yes. After that beautiful rain last night, there's no dust. Spring is in the air. Everyone's just so happy. Oh, yeah. They're definitely happy. Okay. But, yeah. Two more things left to clean. We got oats done. Or no. Got canola done. Oats done. Peas done. Now we just have barley and wheat. Woo! Won't be done today, but it'll be for sure tomorrow. Then off to more cleaning at actually some of our neighbors. So instead of making all those piles of grain there, it's like, hey, what if we uh, change how we uh, how we position everything? And look at that, works like a charm. All we're losing is the chaff, which is fine. Oh, I love this telemere. <laughs> what an invention. If you ever wonder why, uh, where is it, uh, Dollarama in St. Paul? or any dollar stores in the Lakeland area have no bouncy balls, um, we, we bought them all. Because uh, they work mighty good if you actually put them in there. They work mighty good because at $1.25 you get five, six, five of them versus these balls where they like buck a piece. $1.60 per ball for these or you get five slightly smaller balls for $1.25 so yeah sorry not sorry to anyone who uh, wants bouncy balls in their out of stock yeah no we got every color under the sun here race gender everything we got stripey ones we got non stripey ones we got clear we got solid we got whatever you want we got it oh, we're going on barley kind of had to rejig it and do some stuff we didn't think we would do because we got peas in with this barley because we didn't separate the peas and barley so it's like ah whatever um, before we couldn't put peas through the indent because the gap is the tolerances are too tight and the peas that build up and uh, scream and holler and screech and it just you couldn't put peas through the indent. So it's like, well, we'll put it all through air and screen. Problem is we weren't getting the buckwheat out with air and screen and we're putting too many peas over and it was just, it wasn't working. So it was like, well, heck with it. And just like, let's try putting it through the indent because he had done a bunch of cleaning with it. Uh, cleaning it up. Uh oh, what's going on? We shut down. Hey, I'm back in business. Just had to uh, change the screen out. So yeah, Andrew's like, well, I'll try it. He had tore the indents apart this last winter and cleaned them out. They had stuff from years and years of build up inside them. So we're like, well, I'll try it. And uh, well, guess what? The indents work with the peas. And they're pulling out the buckwheat. Their screen doesn't have to do it. Huh? Now we can put peas through the indents now. Now it's just barley coming out. Lots of screenings because they got peas from the barley screening and buckwheat going up the screening. So I think we'll have to unload the screenings before we unload the clean. Hi F2, how are you? Hmm? Okay. Be that way. Huh, what are you doing in here? I don't think you're supposed to be in here. Little Red. How'd you get in here? You hop the fence, you break the fence? Wanna hang out with your lady? Huh? Not 
naughty boy. Hmm. I'm guessing this is where uh, Little Red uh, Yep. If I can walk over it. And he sees a bunch of horny mamas over here. It's like he kind of stepped over it and crunch. And away it went. <laughs> Something like that. Good. Golden. Look at that. Look at that, if women don't find you handsome, at least find you handy. Look at that, fix that fence in like 10 seconds. So, yeah, quick, quick trip to Saskatchewan. We get a quick clean. Chris minus two this morning. That, that cool diesel smell. Oh, it's, it's just so nice. Oh, it just gets a person going. It's like coffee in the morning. Mm, yeah. That fell over here is just so handy. I love it. Shame to be taking off the auger and put on the green bag here. Well. Oh yeah, happy Sunday morning to everyone. I have not had any coffee yet, but the smell of diesel is keeping me going until I either make coffee or go get some or something. So, thanks for asking. Careful. 
Maybe I'll turn that back up a little bit. Those, oh, they're almost done. Oh my, oh, so yummy. Hey, stay there. Right there. Oh, oh, look at that wiener. Holy wiener. They you cut these wieners in half. Oh, that's hot. Look at that, oh my word. Look at that wiener, oh. So excited about wieners. Now we gotta melt the cheese on it. This is gourmet, like. Look at those things, huge, huge, huge wieners. Oh my lord. Ooh. Oh yeah, we got some bacon that should be ready. Actually, hold on. A little bit of relish. Oh. They want to relish the moment. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh. Mm. Oh. Mm. Like if that isn't what dreams are made of. Mm. Whew. Still hot. Mm. There we go. Done the barley for now. <laughs> tore this Andrew tore this auger all apart so we can stuff it in farther. And now we're down to where the auger won't reach. And we got almost two full truckloads, so yeah. Let's got sky hook. Let's tear this abomination down and move the wheat to two trucks of wheat and we're done. And we're on the wheat. Woo! A bunch of white caps. I think we thrashed this wheat a little hard. So there's actually a fair bit of cracks and splits. It kind of ground it up too much. But it's nice and cool and there's decent, oh, it's decent looking wheat. It's CPS wheat, so it's not usually extremely red, but overall pretty nice. junk before it's clean and we'll show you a bushel weight of the screenings and the fancy uh, Wiggly scale. yeah and the fancy something something uh, labtronics that's it so we are at 370 grams that gives us on wheat Ooh. Now, for Canadian, Avery at 60.9 pounds, or U.S. Winchester junk, 57.4. Clean everything nicely. The professionals here. Yeah. Up with that name. And a half liter measure. 
man you give it a quick just kind of uh, something like that I think now we uh, like gum and can make gum if you got high protein which apparently this stuff actually is the highest protein CPS wheat we've ever grown as far as I can remember it's like 12.5 percent protein normally we're like 11 maybe 11.5 normally that like 11 range a lot of some years 10.5 but this year like 12.5? Holy moly. I'll take it. It's gonna be some nice seed, I tell you what. What do you think, Rexy? Huh? Was it a good day? Cleaners all packed up. Ready to head to Goodridge tomorrow morning. And what is it? It is. Oh, it's 9 o'clock. Where's the early? Oh, I have enough time to go home. Um, have a shower. Oh. Oh. And get to bed, uh, like half an hour earlier than before. Oh, beautiful Sunday. <laughs> oh, my dang headlight again. What is with it? with this I've seen some other Ford like it too but uh, it's not the bulb it's the connection because it's like halfway there I just don't have the I just don't have the, the whatever to dick with it right now I don't have the motivation <laughs> I'm too lazy Night, Rexy.